division stage three, this is chunking, and this starts in year three, and we, we use it in year four as well, um, before we go on to the bus stop method. So chunking is all about grouping. So to begin with, we always do an estimate. So I'm going to estimate my total. Well, I know that 10 eighths is 80, so it's got to be more than 10. And 20 eighths is double that, so that is 160. So somewhere in the middle, so I'm going to put 15 for my answer. 15 times 8 should be roughly 128. And for this, we use a number line. I'm going to draw out my line. There we go. And when we start on zero, and our aim is to see how many eights there are between zero and 128. Now I'm going to, so what the children do, they put a what I know box down the side, which is known facts in the eight times table that will help them. So I'm going to put one lot of eight is eight. 2 times 8 is double that, which is 16. 10 times 8 is 80. And half of that is 5 times 8, which is 40. These are my key facts for now, but I might add to as we go. Uh, but these are the main ones we use, the 1s, 2s, 5s, and 10s. So I want the biggest chunk to get as close to 128 as possible. So I'm going to add my... 10, 10 groups of 80, 10 groups of 8, sorry. So this is 80. And I know 10 groups of 8 is 80. So that's 10 8. Now I need to keep going until I've used, I've uh, kept adding 8 until I get to 128. I could go 80 at 8, 88 at 8, add another 8, add another 8, but that will take a long time. So I'm going to do 5 times 8, because I know 40. If I add 80 to 40, that's 120. So I'm going to do my chunk of 40. So that's 5 times 8. So my 120. And then I've got only 8 more to go. And I know 8 is one group of 8. And if I add up all the groups together, 10 8, so 5 8, so 1 8, well that is 16 8. And the answer is 16, which is extremely close to 15. If I wanted to check, I could do 16 times 8 as well to make sure that that was the same, it was 128 as well.